Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This Satsang is an opportunity for all seekers to discuss the spiritual topics, especially on the path of knowledge. So all questions are most welcome. Krishna is asking, the experience is false, experiencer is true, both are combined in experiencing. Is experiencing real or unreal? Experiencing is real and it is unreal and it is not real and it is not unreal. Which means that uh, the concepts of true and false are not applicable to the whole. The whole has everything. It is whole and complete. That means it has all that is true and all that is false. So it is meaningless to talk about truth in the non-dual sense. It is non-dual. It is one. Truth means there will be something which will be false. False means there will be something which will be true. So that is dual. But experiencing is the non-dual existence itself. So these concepts that are created by the intellect, they break down at the level of non-duality. It is simply being. Experiencing is simply being. And if there is a activity there, mental activity that is trying to find what is true, what is false, that activity is also part of the being and it is meaningless at that level. For example, the shapes of the clay are false, they are names and forms, but clay is the truth, it is the essence, essential thing in all the forms, but still the clay and clay pot is one. Swapna is asking, can we say oneness is also a concept? So the meaning of the word concept is that it is simply a thought, some idea in the mind which has hardly any basis in the experience. But oneness is a proven truth. It is right now, right here. It is not a thought in the mind. Actually, the thoughts in the mind are a part of oneness. But when we talk about oneness, we talk with the help of language and thoughts. So those who cannot grasp oneness, those who do not understand it, they will think that it is a concept. Somebody is making up the philosophy. But after realizing the oneness, you will see that these words are actually useless. The words will never convey the oneness. The intellect never goes there. The intellect can only purify itself by removing all the doubts, all the beliefs, blind beliefs, all that it has heard from here and there, all these things will be dropped. And in this clarity, the oneness is seen as ever present. So oneness is beyond concepts, beyond thoughts, beyond language. You need to be the oneness. You need to be one. It cannot be analyzed. It cannot be simply told. So how to reach that position of oneness, which is called the Brahmagyan in Sanskrit. How to become the Brahman? There is a step-by-step -step process, which is called the path of knowledge. So follow the instructions of your Guru and you will be taken to oneness. Simply listening about it is completely useless. Simply thinking about it, you will never get it. So this process is the, the famous uh, progressive elimination, Neti Neti, where you first realize who you are, then you realize what is this experience that is happening and they are combined through your own direct experience and your own intelligence. So concepts are useless, words are useless, and uh, imagination is useless. Let me think about it so that I can grasp oneness. It is impossible to do that. So you require a person who has already realized the oneness. That will be your Guru and the Guru will take you there. This is the proper method. Kanika is asking, sometimes being fearless becomes disadvantage to survive in society. Probably, but uh, I cannot find any question there. Probably you are asking how to balance between fear and fearlessness and that will come by experience. Initially you should be fearless in all situations but when you see that the fearlessness is not working and you need to round run some, sometimes, there are two possible ways to deal with any situation. Adverse situation that is fight or flight. Either you fight the situation fearlessly or you run away. So both of these actions should be taken in complete awareness. Awareness is the key. 
and you will see that in some situations being fearless works very nicely but in some situations which are totally out of your control you should give up and run away wait for the right time this is called intelligence always fighting is stupidity and always running away from even small challenges also stupidity so through your life experiences you will learn how to handle any situation correctly the right action will happen if it is happening in awareness for small things like going to the shopping complex you should not be afraid do your daily routine in complete fearlessness but going to a place which has bad reputation where there are criminals going there in the middle of the night alone now there the fear should take over because it is completely unnecessary and not safe there the fearlessness will cause problems disadvantage so i am giving a very very simple example just to show but life is very complex and there you will learn through experiences if you are learning in complete awareness mostly the results will be positive and if there is something which happens in negative way no problem learn and move on because you are never harmed rajit is asking who is better equipped to handle illusion the ignorant one or the realized you see you are the truth and you are the illusion so if the person who does not know that it is an illusion is acting in some ways is perfectly okay they are handling the illusion in their own way they are handling using their own intelligence and somebody who knows that it is an illusion practically he is doing the same thing as the ignorant person but he is doing with a peaceful attitude both are your own form the ignorant person is also your form and this person who thinks i am realized or this or that is also your form so ultimately the illusion and the laws of the illusion decide what will happen not the person it is not wise to think that the person has this capability to handle the illusion remember the illusion is handling the person like we say in the tantra the devi is handling the devi is governing what this creatures do creatures don't do not handle the illusion Uh, if there is a thought that i can handle anything now because i am realized person this thought itself is an illusion so it does not matter how much knowledge there is the illusion will handle you purnima is saying please shed some light on role of unconditional love and its role on the path of knowledge see on the path of knowledge love means being one that there is no difference between you and me not only we are similar we are actually one and this is the bottom line there is no other truth beyond this so this is also called love i am love love is not an action it is not an emotion it is the state of being the whole existence is simply love so when you mix conditions there that if you do something for me i love you otherwise i don't love you then it is not love we call it selfishness some something is being done to gain something so from the perspective of the path of knowledge when it is simply about giving that let me give you whatever i have especially if you want it if you don't want it no problem that will be called unconditional love and not asking anything in return so even the person who is not on the path of knowledge is same as me so we try to help that person also especially when they are asking for something if they are not asking for anything the unconditional love is to let them be what they are if they are suffering if they are in a bad situation but they don't want your help then the unconditional love says that is the best thing for it for that person but imposing your own will on others simply because i think i am right you are wrong or manipulating others look i have a lot of knowledge do this you will also get knowledge that is not love letting the person enjoy or suffer their own freedom is unconditional love somebody is trying to kill you and you shoot that person that is also unconditional love this is the tricky part how can killing somebody be unconditional because you are saving this body which is not yours obviously but this is the correct action if you leave that person okay kill me go away because i love you so much then he is going to kill many so violence is also love on the path of knowledge especially if it is done for the good of yourself or for somebody else so hopefully it is clear
बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज मी एंड एवरीबडी इज एन इल्यूजन सो इट हार्डली मैटर्स वॉट वी डू विथ अदर्स बट एनी इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन विल रियलाइज दैट देर इज मोर एडवांटेज इन प्रोवाइडिंग असिस्टेंस टू अदर्स इन हेल्पिंग एंड सर्विंग अदर्स देर इज मोर एडवांटेज एडवांटेज फॉर वॉट फॉर द होल एग्जिस्टेंस and for the individual also when you serve you will be benefited more than the person you are serving but uh, the real test is when you are not benefited but still you serve others and we say that that is that person is a saint an image of the love so try to know what is not love what is selfishness try to distinguish between the requirement for violence and punishment and forgiveness and try to serve others and you will actually implement the unconditional love because it is one thing to say about these things and totally different to act on unconditional love acting with unconditional love is totally different than simply understanding what it is praveer is asking is there balance exists between illusions world and spiritual world after getting knowledge of true self all the worlds are illusions only this is the knowledge you will get after knowing yourself after realizing your true self you realize that everything that can be experienced is illusion only there is no difference in the worlds so if there is no difference there is no question of balance so hopefully all answers were received today all questions got answered we can end the meeting today thank you everybody for participating in today's meeting i'll see you next time